Okay, um, welcome back to the third video in this uh, series of screencasts about how to work with Git and Subversion in parallel. Um, I got my two tabs here with the uh, Git uh, repository to the right and my Subversion checkout uh, to the left tab here. So uh, let's uh, start off with a change in um, and that we commit on the subversion side first. Uh, as you'll probably remember from last time, um, we won't actually get these changes into our Git repository before we do a Git SVN rebase. So let's say that on the subversion committers, uh, this uh, line here, and they commit a and now uh, without rebasing first uh, but to get users to a similar change saying got the it into the same file that we modified on the subversion side so if we commit now saying that we get stuff. All right. And now comes the the tricky point. Um, we got one commit here at the top of our log, which is the only one that we haven't pushed back to or decommitted back to subversion yet. So it's going to be interesting to see now what happens when we do um, an update or a, a rebase towards the subversion uh, repository. So let's just try and see how it goes. Well, obviously Git starts complaining about something here. Uh, let's have a look at the, the output. So we see here the usual output from um, Git, it rewinds to the common ancestor that it had with the subversion repository and, and starts applying my changes on top of that. Uh, this is interesting because uh, when we do a rebase in general like this, uh, that's regardless of it, it, whether it's a subversion remote or another Git repository, when we rebase, um, we kind of take away our local changes and we uh, update our repository with the revisions coming in from the remote uh, repository. Uh, that, that will be the subversion user's uh, last commit in the SAN file. And then uh, we start apply, applying our local commits that we had uh, again. And you can see that here as so we start applying did some git stuff in SAND. And now we get the starting to understand that this has to do some merging here. So it's falling back to patching base and three-way merge, whatever that means, and tries to auto-merge the file. Uh, usually that's good, and that, that goes okay sometimes if the changes are non-conflicting, but in this case, uh, it wasn't able to do so automatically. So uh, Git instructs us here to, to resolve this issue, and when we're done, we're gonna continue rebasing. Uh, and if there's a series of conflicts, then we will have to deal with them one by one. Um, this is actually a pretty nice way of, uh, of working through our conflicts, uh, if we had several commits where we had more conflicts. So I'm just going to have a look at my git status. It says here that, OK, we got, um, we're in, a, in the middle of doing a, a, a merge, and we have that both parties have modified Sand txt. So I'm going to use um, uh, a GUI tool for merging. So it has a command that goes like this, as far as I can remember. And I like using a program called diff merge. So that prompts me just to start uh, merging it. Okay. 
conflict. If merge tells me that there was one conflict that could not be automatically merged, these must be manually resolved. Okay, and here um, I got my final result file in the middle. Uh, out in the right, I got uh, the changes from the remote source, which is interesting because this is actually the git commit. And on the left side, uh, we got the local uh, source, which is the subversion commit. Now, you would think it was the other way around, but due to the way Rebase works, um, first, uh, my, 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 my branch is updated with the latest commits from the uh, subversion side, and then uh, it, uh, it tries to apply my local commits um, as if they came from a remote repository like this. So this is why it looks uh, slightly confusing uh, with the remote and the local. Anyway, um, now I either choose to use the change from the light, right or the left. I'm not really sure if git merge let me use both somehow. Maybe this one. Okay, well I'm gonna just do this manually and paste in both lines. So, now we got um, a result that we're happy with. Now I just quit the program. And get data says now that okay, um, I can follow the instructions and do this continue command that I was instructed earlier to do. And now my commit was applied uh, properly. So let's just have a look at what happened in the log. So we can see here that uh, the subversion commit came in at this point before uh, physically before I committed with git and this uh, commit up here um, now contains the changes also that were included in the subversion commit which is funny because uh, it feels like we did a little bit of time travel right there so anyhow uh, at this point we are up to date with the subversion repository and we are now free to push our changes back to subversion, decommit, and the subversion users on their side can also get our latest uh, commits. So this is the last commit. Okay, I think that's enough for this episode.